Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to another tutorial on programming sessions in Python. This is the third tutorial about functions and in this tutorial we are going to focus on function scopes or to be more precise the variable scopes within and outside the function. So we are going to start with the same example that we started previously. So now we have a function that accepts no parameter and this is a function call and we are going to try to print the variables that are defined or declared outside the function to see their scope. So this is x equal to and we are going to print x before the function and inside the function and outside the function. We are going to investigate and see is it going to be accepted that way or not. So when we execute you are going to see the outside before it's 2, it's inside the function 2 and outside after is 2. So there is no syntax error here because we we didn't define x because x is defined here so it's going to be visible in the program and inside the functions okay so what if we did the the other way around what if we put x here and we said x equal 2 and we tried to print the x before after and inside the function when we execute as you can see here we are going to have a name error problem which is x is not defined because Python did not recognize the variable x so this leads us to the first conclusion when you define a fun when you define a variable within the function its scope or this variable scope will be within the function only it will not extend to outside the function it's not going to be known in other functions or in the rest of the program in the, in the in outside the functions so anything you define within the function it's going to be within the function now what if I said x equal 4 here and x equal 2 which x is going to work right now when you run you're going to see of course the variable that you define inside the function will be printed inside the function and the variable that you define outside the function will be printed outside the function so even though they are the same name but in the memory they are going to treat it differently anyway this x is recognized within this function only and this x is recognized anywhere else if you don't define x here this x will be recognized here as well okay so now what if I want what if I want this x to be recognized outside the the function so in this way you have to use the global keyword when you say global x you are giving x a global scope so let me delete this first so now x equals 4 while x is global and we run you see we still have the same problem we still have error why error because here when we printed x we didn't call the function yet so we didn't even reach this statement yet so if you comment this and run again you will see we have no issues with the x so basically the problem is not with the scope but the problem is with the timing of definition of the global x so this statement comes before the definition of a global x so this statement doesn't know x but this statement does know x because this statement comes after the function call and when we call the function as you can see here it is going to go to the function and then return to here so this is going to be the case you define the function you sorry call it and then you go here define a global x and then you work with it here and this is basically very important you need to understand this very well so now what if I said this uh, x equals 2 and above I have x or uh, global x equals 4 so it's going to be 2 4 4 so let's now explain how what how this happened uh, basically uh, as you can see here in the memory here we defined x so now x is 2 we printed x the result is 2 now we call the function and we defined x as a global now the value of x is 4 okay so this changes that the value 2 into the value the value 4 which is globally recognized all over the program this is why when we printed it inside the function it's 4 when we printed it outside the function is 4 so now what if you come again and say x equal 1 2 4 and print 
x is it going to be 4 or 1 2 4 the best way is you run and see it and investigate of course it's going to be 1 2 4 why because always the as we said at the beginning in the module 2 the last definition will take place so this is the last definition or assignment for the value of x so this way it's going to be 24 1 24 but if you call the function again and you printed it it's going to remember the value 4 you see now after the global definition it becomes 4 so global makes the variable globally recognizable without the global it is very simple anything you define within the block of the function is going to be recognized within this block anything you define outside it is going to be recognized everywhere thank you very much for watching and see you in next tutorials inshallah have a nice day